Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we are looking at Ship Game, okay? And uh, they did have an audit done on this project. You know, the audit passed with the issues. Uh, I do want to highlight some of the issues. They had a critical severity issue. The audit highlights the following in its findings that there is a function which can be considered as potential honeypot risk. Uh, that's you know just that's just the verbiage coming out of the audit. High severity issue. The owner can change the max transaction amount to zero. Um, the medium another a medium severity issue. Auto liquidity is going to an externally owned account. Medium severity issue. The owner can change max wallet token to zero, making it impossible to buy. Medium severity issue. There's a blacklist function, but the audit highlights that it's not working properly. Okay, so I'll leave the the link you know to those audit details you know so you're aware of it. Um, and then as far as a pre-sale, no, no announcements been made yet on this one. They're not Photodocs. No certificate of KYC on this to, on, on this project either. So just you know make sure that you're aware you know of all that information. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look you know at their documentation real fast. And we can see, you know, this is what they got going on here. Total supply is going to be 100 million. Um, taxes three and three. Okay, so we can see what they got going on here in terms of, um, you know, token distribution. Five percent going to burn. 25 percent to pre-sale. 13 percent to liquidity. 10 uh, percent to market marketing lock. 10 percent to treasury. 0.1 to airdrop. And 35.9 to game rewards. Okay, so that takes us through token information. And let's see here. Uh, let's see. I wanted to take a look at the roadmap. You know, so this is what they got going on in terms of the roadmap. So we can see three different phases. You know, in phase one, we see research, building the web, creating the white paper, tokenomics, product development. You know, smart contract and security audit. Um, they've already got the security audit you know, done on this token already, which I've just shared with you the findings. Now, I don't know in regards to the audit whether the team is going to go ahead, and mitigate, acknowledge, you know, resolve you know, any of these, any of the things that the uh, that they, uh, the auditing company found. You know, but um, when they do that, you know, you, we should see updates, you know, to uh, to the same link that I will provide for you below. So by the time you watch it, you may see, you may still see those findings, you know, in the audit, or you may see some changes, you know, that don't highlight what I'm talking about in this video at the time of me recording it. You know, so because clearly I think with all the issues that were highlighted, you know, in that audit, I would think the, the team would be interested in, in resolving those things. Okay, so partner in marketing making uh, internal test nets, um, Baccarat and Dice reach 10,000 members. You, know, you guys know that uh, when it comes to any time projects are highlighting, you know, how many members, you know, they, they want or have, I, I always go ahead and remind you guys that, you know, hey, there are three areas, you know, where every project and token wants to grow and it's going to be market cap, uh, community members and their token holders, you know, so and that is, that's true across every project it doesn't matter what chain in all of crypto okay so social activities so phase two here we see setting up the uh, pre-sale whitelist uh, listing on pancake cmc and cg listings um, however if they're not pre-listed i don't even see the point in stating that you're going to be listing you should be stating that you're submitting the application app on google play and app store and ios um, mainnet game baccarat Play and earn at 15,000 holders. Again, that's something they can get rid of. Game Center, Guide System, Big Marketing Campaign. Once you mention marketing, you don't have to mention it anymore. So um, I'm just putting that out there since we see you know, the mentioning marketing. Build Metaverse Casino, launching uh, the Blackjack game. And then in phase three, we see NFT development, launching the game Poker, a Game Center update, DAO voting, launching game Roulette, video chat, fashion and real stores, ads network, live streaming, new game on Game Center, over 20,000 holders, which they don't need that either, and publisher monetization. So that takes us through the roadmap. And then they also have the text version, you know, here uh, following that. So I'm going to go back over to the main site and we can see their socials here on the right hand side. We see a couple of different or we see some links you know, up here in the navigation bar along with their D app button, uh, a buy chip you know, button here. And they got this video here, but you guys know that we don't play videos on the channel. So uh, the Metaverse Casino uh, and then you can go ahead and kind of use you know, these, um, these buttons down below to go ahead and kind of scroll through here okay, and see what's going on. Okay, um, and then we can see the loyalty program, levels and rewards, increased cashback, uh, and VIP club. They you talk about how it works here. 
and then you can see the roadmap you know and I like the layout of the roadmap you know here however with respect you know to the roadmap um, one of the things that we don't see is we don't see timelines we don't see them indicating what they've already completed um, we don't see anything that highlights you know what's currently in process and we don't get anything at the end of the roadmap that indicates whether they're going to do a, a v2 on the roadmap or any additional development you know on the project so it would be good to see you know uh, those things being added you know to complement what already what they've already done here you know on this roadmap because i think those things would help to they, they would communicate to people looking at their website in the roadmap, you know, um, what they're currently doing in terms of development on the project. And I think those things are helpful. So, um, new generation of online casino on the blockchain, you know, so they give you some information here. Okay, and then we've already gone through the tokenomics, we've already gone through the token distribution. Okay, and let's see here. And then basically go ahead and get to the end of the page, you know. So that takes us through, you know, this token. I just wanted to go ahead and make you guys aware, you know, of the project. As you know, on this channel, we go ahead and give you some brief exposure to projects that you might not be aware of otherwise had you not seen it on the channel. And then we put it in your hands to, to go ahead and do your own information gathering to put together a complete picture, you know, of the project, you know, on your own. Um, you know, by definitely gathering as many details as you can, that helps you to operate from a much more informed position as you consider whether you're going to lean into the project or not concerning your own level of participation, even though we don't even encourage you to invest on the channel. So that's going to do it for me on uh, the chip. Uh, chip game project thank you so much for watching again if you are not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel um, a lot of these videos are time sensitive and the only way you're going to know uh, about them when they are released to the channel is if you are subscribed with those notifications turned on so that's where i'm going to leave it as always i'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below and with that said you all enjoy the day